with reigning champ and master maker of NBC's hit series, Making It, Kim Wynn, who's a multi-talented artist and has a real passion for woodworking. So what are we making today? You have your work cut out for us because we are not handy people. <laughs> uh, today we're making a couch armrest uh, table. Cool. Yeah. And um, it's really easy. It's three pieces of wood. Uh huh. And um, this particular wood is called poplar. And um, you know you can easily find it at Home Depot. And right. It's a hardwood with you know a really nice looking grain that's pretty uh -huh. expensive. So cool. It's good. So uh, we've pre-drilled some of these um, just to kind of get it going. Yes. To assemble, it'll be easy to assemble if you you know just stand up the two smaller pieces uh -huh. just okay. to kind of have a stable surface. And what I would do is line up the this inside piece first. Right. And um, you know you pre-drill which. Mine are pre-drilled, actually. So, um... Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> All right. What you'll want to do is have these holes countersunk with a, um... Like a... <laughs> Can you just laugh at his joke? So maybe he'll stop it. Sorry, I'm so... It's <laughs> pretty good. It's <laughs> really great, Ben. <laughs> So we've counterbored these with a uh, 3 8 inch Forstner bit. So then you pre-drill, uh -huh. and then after you get it all lined get little up, holes I'm down in, in drilling there. position. I'm ready to do yes. this. Yes, you'll be using these screws. And bam, you shouldn't have to do that. You should just. <laughs> no, you're gonna strip it. Don't strip the screw. screw. Look how good we are. It's like Bob Look Vila. Us. <laughs> Once we drilled those in, what's next? Yes, you will be malleting in these little dowels. How far do we go? Um, as far as it allows you to go. And then here's your other one. Oh, so we do okay. all of them, okay. And what does this do? What you'll do is trim them off with this flush cut saw. Uh-huh. And um, it's designed to, you know, oh, ride it along the right. surface. Yep. So you don't mm -hmm. really cut the surface, but you're able to uh -huh. trim something flush. How's it work? So, um, Is it I mean, motorized like, or you gotta do it by hand? It's motorized by your hand. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like any other saw, you wanna hold it flush against the top and Don't then just... Don't step back to me. Okay. <laughs> Here, you yeah, stand right there. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I'm very handy. Sometimes it helps if you go around a bit. They didn't give us a saw. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why. Well, yeah. if you want to give it a shot. Sure. Go for it, Kel. Okay. She's sawing in sequins, everybody. This is the first time yes. that's ever happened. <laughs> Jesus, Kelly. Keep it on the board. Nice, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, you I got, got it. it. You got it. Nice. Well, there we go. Oh. Beautiful job. Then we can get a little sandpaper job. and sand it down. Yeah, you can sand it so it's nice and smooth yeah. and, you know, nice and perfect. And Beautiful. Ready for the finish. Awesome, man. Um, I like to use a lot of oil finishes. Uh huh. Um, so over here we have some Over examples. here we have the finished product. Yep. Okay. And, I love uh, this. This is so great. Yeah. So great. Yes. I love that color too. Yes. Yeah. So if you stain it dark, um, you know, you can kind of hide some of the dowels. Uh-huh. Um, but otherwise... I think all those little things add character. Yeah, it's a little nice yeah. detail. Yeah, it's great. And with a clear coat, you can see the contrast more, which uh -huh. is also nice. Which is beautiful. Thank yeah. you, baby.